In Medical Watch, it's a post-COVID condition that patients didn't want to talk about on camera for this story. Yeah, some feared personal judgment or the consequences on the job if they talked about brain fog. So Meg Ferris got some answers from a doctor who's treating it. They're called long haulers, people who recover from the coronavirus infection but have lingering symptoms. Some call the headaches, dizziness, fatigue, brain fog. I'm seeing healthy people that did not have these uh, serious manifestations of COVID. People that are athletic, that don't have underlying health conditions that are reporting these symptoms. Tulane neurologist Dr. Michelle Longo says patients have short-term memory loss, problems focusing, concentrating, finding words, and trouble with daily thinking. I don't think that there has been evidence so far of direct involvement of the brain cells from the virus itself. So then what causes it? Here are the theories. People who had severe complications are more at risk. Respiratory problems causing lower oxygen. Other organs affected, inflammation from the immune response, fatigue from fighting the infection, and in a small number of cases, clotting. The brain is uh, very hungry for oxygen. About 20% of oxygen go into the brain. If it doesn't get oxygen for three to five minutes, there can be irreversible changes. So what can be done? Have a doctor check for underlying medical conditions. Are other medications or behaviors causing it, like diet, lack of sleep, or exercise? Are there emotional factors or vitamin or hormone deficiencies? COVID is, is scary, and there are people that are out there that have survived what has been a life, a life-ending illness for many. And that's left us with a lot of anxiety, with depression. Some people even have symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. And even though little's known, Dr. Longo has this encouraging prognosis. We can reassure these patients the way we do our patients that have had concussions, that most people will improve. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. And the doctor says if there are no underlying medical conditions causing the brain fog, it may just be that some people take longer to recover from the virus.